Club football takes a break this weekend, but not to worry. There are a host of international games to look forward to, and we will get you the right games to bet on it. I am Wilfred Mung, the silent year alongside Onome Appeal, and our focus this week is on the UEFA Nations League. Exactly. International week. Uh, club football takes a break, but it's good to have countries playing. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time we saw this. Okay. Uh, now on the screen are the peaks for you last week. Three over five. Well, uh, well that's okay. Decent. We've been having decent ones. I don't, I don't think we can say anything bad about this past week. Mm -hmm. Three over five is okay. Alright, what a way to get into what we have for you this week, talking about UEFA Nations league and let's start with the game involving england and belgium at the world cup they met twice but belgium won both games england lost to them twice at the world cup shows superiority by the belgium guys but you know the english man has gone a lot since that time mm, sure. you expect that he can prove a point this time by maybe getting a win but the one thing we're sure here is that goals will be plenty in this one england scored three goals against was at wembley they love to score goals at wembley so another both teams to score situation here for these teams or possibly over 2.5. Another game where you should expect goals is the one involving Spain and Switzerland. Both teams have scored in four of the six previous meetings between them. Well, you expect goals whenever Spain plays, but then forget about the draw against Portugal. Mm -hmm. Goalless draw, by yeah, the way, goalless. during the week. But, you know, whenever they go out there, they always want to score goals. And the last three times these two teams have met, there have been goals everywhere. The goal situation should continue, both teams to score. For Bosnia, they host Netherlands. The Orange should have enough in them to beat the Bosnians. Yeah, forget about the struggles in the week against Mexico where they couldn't win, lost that one. Well, Frank de Boer still getting a whole hang of this team. He joined recently after Koeman left to go coach Barcelona. Mm -hmm. But you expect them to beat Bosnia. Bosnia only two wins in the last six matches. Mm. Straight win for Netherlands. For France against Portugal, France have beaten Portugal at home in all encounters since 1978. Wow. That tells the only one thing, the <laughs> French are the favourites. So, straight win for them. And for Poland against Italy, Lewandowski returns for this one, but Italy are high-flying and should be able to see off the Polish sides or a both team to score scenario. After what happened last week, do you have an upset a lot? Sure. Us? I'm always confident any day, any time to think of an upset, upset to bring out. Yes, and yes. this time, it's going to be the match between Russia and Turkey. Turkey always struggles when they play Russia, but I think this time it could change. We saw how well they did at the Euro qualifiers. We were able to beat the world champions and then drew one match. They didn't lose to world champions. They haven't won in 2020 yet. Two draws and a loss. But this could change, especially how they came back against Germany. So I'm tipping them to win this one against this Russian team who have been doing well recently. Speaking of Germany, they get to play Ukraine this weekend. And that's my upset a lot being that the Germans in their last three games have not won. In fact, all those games have ended in draws. And on their last three visits to Ukraine, they've also ended in draws. So those are our picks for you this weekend. They are on your screen. We hope that when you go out to bet on it, it will be all green.